Yo, what's going on guys? It is Generous here today. As you can tell from the title thumbnail, I've gone over to Toy Floyd today. So I'm going to be showing you how to build this awesome looking Japanese oriental style gate, okay? But before we actually get into the video, make sure you check the description down below for all the materials you're going to need. But anyway, let's get on to the video. But before we actually get into building the gate house, this is what all the items look like inside of a chest format, okay? So, if you want to take a screenshot, now's your chance. And as you can see, I've got these blocks down here. I've got the polished diorite, the white concrete pad, and the diorite. I've already got diorite within the list here because that is technically all the blocks you're going to need of diorite. But you can change some of them blocks there for some polished diorite or like white concrete pad or whatever whatever texture you want to add to like the wall, okay? But what we're going to do first is we're going to build the framework. And as well, what I want you to do is to ignore the red sand here. That there is just actually the foundation. So if you want to take a screenshot of how big that is, that's completely up to you. But that is where I'm going to be building the gatehouse, okay? But anyway, let's get on to building the framework. To the framework of the entire gatehouse, what we're going to do is we're going to start off where these corner sections here I've got where the red sand is. I'm going to, in the corner section right there, I'm going to build this pillar up here with darker logs, six high. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Do the same on all four sides. There we go. And I'm just going to show you how to do one side, by the way, because obviously this side you can just replicate onto that side as well. There we go. Once I'm done this, this middle section here where I've got this 3x3, three three, we're going to make a zero shape or like a circle shape. There we go, just like so. I'm going to take this six height again, the same as the side, obviously the height of the pillars. And I was saying before, you can obviously mix and match this diorite here with the polished diorite and the white concrete powder, just so obviously just not all one texture. Now that we've done this, what we're going to do, connect these logs up together, just like so. There we go. There we go, there we go. After we've done this, 3x3 three three on top here, just red, uh, red concrete. After this, upside down, dark oak stairs in between the pillars. Here we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Dark oak stairs on the bottom of the pillars here. There we go, just so it looks like it's being supported a little bit more. After we've done this, on the front side here, place three bamboo there, and obviously you can just let them go up if you want to, but I'm just going to bone meal, or bone meal, just make it a bit quicker. There we go, and then the same on the back side here. There we go, like that. Obviously, if you can add them on the sides there if you want to, I'm not going to pull you fat, because this is the middle section here, and this side here, I'm going to show you, obviously, in another tutorial on how to build walls connecting to the gatehouse here, okay? Now that we've done this step, where the top logs are here, I'm going to go up half, spruce slab, lower half, up half, spruce, lower half, up half, there we go. So we're going to keep repeating that, so upper half, lower half, upper half, lower half, upper half, just like so. And that there is the bottom bit of the framework done and dusted. To the middle section of the framework here, I'm going to start it off by building a three high pillar, just like so, with darker logs on top of the red concrete. Three die right there in the middle of them, and in between all these spruce fences. And obviously whatever I do to this side here, we have to keep it on the other side there. Now that we've done that, top half, dark oak slabs just like so, going around the red concrete. There we go. After this, what we're just going to do here is basically make like an end shape apart from like that inner section where the, the middle section is here where the, the, uh, the gate's going to go later. Is I'm just going to place temporary blocks there for now, okay? Obviously this could be out of like dirt or whatever you want, okay? And we're going to mirror what we've just done here on this section here, so top half, Lower half, top half, lower half, top half there. Same on this side here, top half, lower half. But he's just going to keep repeating this, going right the way around, just like so. And then you're going to get rid of these temporary blocks there, just like so. And where them temporary blocks have just been, we're going to have dark oak slabs, okay? There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. And you're going to connect this up as well, in between, just like so. So we should have some that looks like this now, okay? Now that we've done this, on the top half of these logs here, upside down, dark oak fences, or sorry, dark oak stairs, just like so. And same on the inner side here. Actually, no, sorry, no, on the inner side here, we're going to have one, two, three dark oak logs coming off that, just like so. Underneath this, we're going to have the dark oak stair upside down, just like so. And then what I'm going to have here is dark oak stair coming off that, and then a slab coming off that. And that should be the middle there, and obviously, we're then going to replicate this on that side there. But before we do that, what we're going to need is dark oak planks, okay? And on top of where the stairs are here, we're basically going to make one big square, okay? And obviously this is going to go right down to the opposite side as well. There we go. And again, this is all going to be filled in, so you're not going to see anything below this. 
there you go, get rid of you and get rid of you, just like that. Obviously, I'm now going to replicate this on this side and I'll be back here once I've done that. The next step we're going to do is we're going to do the roof, but before we do that, I'm going to add an extra upside down dark oak stair right here and right there, just like so. There we go, the same on this side, there we go, and there we go. And now to do the roof in the four corners here, top half screw slab, then we're going to go three on the lower half, top half, one, two, three, top half, one, two, three, top half, one, two, three, top half. Obviously, you do the same on the opposite side here, so top half, three, one, there you go, one, there you go. And there we go. Now that we've done this, obviously on these side sections here, top half, top half, lower half and the three. And then obviously you can probably guess what I'm going to do here, just a temporary block and then a uh, uh, lower half spruce slab on top of that. There we go. So it looks something like this. Now that we've got this done, what we're then going to do is go back to the dark oak planks. And we're going to go in, so from the middle here on the, on the side section here, Go to the middle section there, and go in by two, so we should start off on one block there, and one there, one there, just like so. Do the same on the opposite side here, so middle section, and then come in by two, one, two, place a block there, one to the left and one to the right. And all we're going to do now is just build this too high, going right the way around, okay, just like so. There we go, and just for the sake of it, I'm going to fill the middle section in here. There we go, and then what we're going to do as well is before we go back into the building knees again, I'm going to go two in again from the middle and place another one too high, just like so. There we go, so we should have something that looks like this now. Now that we've done this, we're basically going to do the exact same thing as what we've just done here, but up here. So, we're going to start off with the top on there, I'm going to go one, two, three, up, one, two, three, lower half, up, one, two, three, lower, and then one up again. Same thing here, up, up, down, there we go. I'm just going to do this dead quick going right the way around because it's just a rinse and repeat them. There we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. And see this top one here, again, and in the, in the corner sections here, top half uh, spruce slab there, lower half by three, up one, there we go, same thing. There you go, one, two, three, there we go, one, two, three, there we go. And then what we'll do here is we're just going to place a top one there on the sides. And again, the four corners, just time we block and then place another slab there. There we go. And that there is the roof done and dusted. All I have to do now is to do the gate. To do the gate of the gate house, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the very middle here and look upwards. And where the very centre is up here, we're going to put one, two, three, four, five going down with light grey concrete. We're going to do the same but leave a gap. There we go. And same on the other side here, leave a gap and then go five down. There we go. Then what we're going to do is, we're going to knock the first one down, the second one down, place one to the left, and then just make this go right across, just like so. Do the same thing, but just leave a gap, so leave a gap there. Same thing here, go right across, just like so. Below these now, we're just going to put a cobblestone wall below them. And that really is it, is the gate done and dusted. All that's left to do now is just to add the lanterns, which what we're going to do is I'm going to put fences in the four corners here, basically where we started the roof off. There we go. Lanterns going to go on them lever under them and then banners surrounding them there we go and again it's up to you you can go on, go online and find a load of different like japanese and oriental band designs so obviously you don't have to just have these just plain red you can have them like an actual like variation on them and a texture there we go one two three four and that there is the japanese gatehouse done and dusted if you guys have enjoyed this and you want to see more of this on the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you haven't already hit that like button, because obviously hitting that like button helps me out massively. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya!